G'day, Olivia Regano with tonight's weather. Mild and breezy across Queensland this weekend, often cloudy with increased rainfall as a knot in the southeasterly trade wind pattern gradually works its way northward. Top temperatures have been waffling around the 30 mark, which is quite pleasant for a February day for central Queensland, especially with cloud. Still warm at night though, with humidity in the 50s. Let's look at the satellite loop first up. Two major areas of cloud, the semi-monsoon or what's left over of the big blow up of monsoon we had last week, right over the top end of Australia. The low in the Gulf is now basically um, weakened out and merged with the monsoon trough, but there's still a lot of storm activity up there. But on top of all that, we've got increasing showers along the east coast and ranges from the southeasterly trade winds. Now on today's chart, you can see the cause of those trade winds. There's a high in the Tasman Sea. It's pushing those southeast winds to the coast. What you can't see is a subtle convergence zone which is currently just around the southern central coast, working its way north. And along that, we've got two rivers of air basically coming together and rising. On tomorrow's chart, that little knot reaches the tropics. It'll end up around Townsville first, increasing rainfall there, and then by Wednesday around Cairns. Yeah, now the boating forecast for Capricornia waters. East to southeast winds 15 to 20 knots tomorrow, increasing to 25 knots at times on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, it's a steady 20 to 25 knots of southeasterly. The current new moon's producing our annual summer king tide. It's the largest tide of the air for some places and will happen in broad daylight tomorrow, so be careful. Capricornia district forecast, we've got a 40% chance of showers and there could be thunderstorms as well. Gladstone, 30 degrees. Rockhampton, 23 up to 30. Billowila, 31. Yapoon, nice and cool, 28. Central Highlands and Caulfield, chance of a shower or storm in the north only. Emerald reaching 33 degrees, same for Claremont and Moranbar 30. Looking ahead for Rockhampton, a comfortable week with temperatures about average or slightly below. Showers will threaten from time to time, but for the most part, it'll just be cloudy. Why do lows and cyclones out in the Pacific bring large waves to our coastline? Well, lows and cyclones are surrounded by a ring of very strong winds which disturb the ocean. And the disturbance radiates outward in the form of waves in much the same way as a falling stone sends out circular ripples in a pond. The ripples travel for thousands of kilometres across the Pacific Ocean and finally reach our Queensland beaches in the form of long rolling waves called swell. The swell that hit our shores last week took a full day to reach us from ex-cyclone Gabriel. And that's it for the weather folks, now it's back to the team. Yeah, wonderful Lou, good on you mate. Thanks very much for your company, see you tomorrow night. And also a reminder, you can watch a replay of our news on the 7 Plus app if you missed anything, or you can catch up on our page, 7news.com.au. And from all of us here, good night. Good night.